So this happened, I think, Monday afternoon after we went off the air, but we haven't mentioned it. Uh, hey, Cedar Park's open. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> coaching changes continue to roll. You may remember that Barbers Hill came open uh, because Tom Westerberg left to go become the AD at um, Butte Hayes Consolidated um, uh, ISD or Hayes Consolidated ISD. Um, that opens up Barbers Hill. We had heard some rumblings about who they were after, and it came down on Monday afternoon, broken by our own Matt Stepp, that Carl Absek is leaving Cedar Park to become the new head coach at Barbers Hill. Uh, obviously, Cedar Park was a state finalist from a year ago. Um, they are, you know, they are always in the mix. Uh, we're about to do our 5A rankings. I wonder if they'll show up there. <laughs> um, but they are they are a preeminent set, uh, Austin area powerhouse. Um, I will say that they, they have had a number of assistants that have been hired away. A mm-hmm. number of assistants there from Cedar Park who have gone on to other jobs. And so I do wonder if... Like there was a little bit, they're all going to have some holes to fill. Now they have the big, the big hole to fill, uh, the big chair there at Cedar Park. Barbara Silk gets an outstanding coach and Carl Absek, who did tremendous things, won a state championship with Cedar Park in 2015. Is that right? Yes. 2015. Yeah. Um, outstanding, an outstanding uh, coach there. He's going to help with Barbara Hill, especially on the defensive side. Uh, but yeah, keep an eye on that. Barbara Hill or Car- uh, Barbara Hill has their coach in Carl Absek, and now Cedar Park is open. I understand they may be down to two or three names, so we'll see if they move quickly on that because it is, after all, June 21st. God, that's crazy. <laughs> One other thing. Well, two other things. Another coaching drama news. Now, the coach coach Absec leaving is not drama, I should be clear. Right. Um, uh, I don't know how much you guys were paying attention to what was going on in Decatur. Oh, we want to talk about drama. Yeah, that was actual <laughs> drama. Like, Long story short, and, and shout out to our friends at the Wise County Messenger. Yeah, yes. the Wise County Messenger, who are covering this. They, uh, The school board there at Decatur called uh, kind of an impromptu school board meeting about Always a good sign. their head coach and <laughs> athletic what director position, <laughs> which was held by Mike Fuller. Mike Fuller has been there for seven years, been pretty darn successful there at uh, at. At Decatur, Decatur. Uh, he is no longer the head coach at Decatur. Long story short, after a long meeting, um, they uh, ended up coming to an agreement for him to resign. Uh, th- from what I understand, there is no scandal here, as far as like he hasn't done something to warrant being dismissed. In my opinion, uh, from what I understand, I did. I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but I did text with him, um, and he said, you know, he he seemed to be in pretty good spirits about this. Um, and said, you know, that a lot of people stood up and spoke on his behalf, and he was really honored by that. Um, but it is uh, a very, it's a very strange situation up there at Decatur that they have more or less, you know, gotten a pretty successful head coach out of there mm-hmm. uh, for reasons that. Look, I mean, it's. I mean, you there's can, no uh, way to look at this and not think this is, isn't small town politics. I was about to say you can just go on Twitter. I'm looking right at, at the Wise County Messenger tweet right now. And my new favorite uh, uh, ratio is the quote tweet ratio, <laughs> and where you can look at how many quote tweets it yeah. has. And it has three retweets, sixteen quoted retweets, yeah. and five likes, yeah. and then twelve replies. And you can go look, and it's a bunch of coaches giving their support to Coach Fuller. It's a bunch of people in the comments basically echoing you. Yeah. Small town politics. This isn't you know this isn't right. Whatever. Again, details you know details are what they are. Um, you know you could probably find somebody to tell you about that. But like. Whether or not, there, you know, there doesn't seem, like you mentioned, there doesn't seem to be any type of tangible. No. He, Glary he didn't mess up. He did, you know? I mean, they didn't go 0-8 last no. year. They no. Didn't. Oh, and, 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 like, even furthermore, he didn't hit a kid. Right, exactly. Right, like, he didn't yeah. Nothing, you know, nothing off the field. Like, no right, yeah. investigation or whatever. There's nothing like that. There's no, no legal issues there, no. it seems right. like. It just appears that there was small-town politics at, at, at foot. You know, foot. Plain and simple. I just don't. I don't know another way to say that other than it sounds like there are small town politics, and so as a result, Decatur is now open. And a damn good head coach. Is good head now coach is available. <laughs> yeah. available. It's a guy who's, who's, who knows what he's doing. So anyway, there's that. Uh, and then of course we should mention that uh, we've got shows today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, but we are off Thursday, Friday because we will be in College Station. College Station for the State Seven on Seven tournament. The pools are up on TexasFootball.com, the official website of the State Seven on Seven tournament. Yeah, shout out uh, Matt we will, Stipp. We will have the, we have the pools up. We will have a new. We'll probably do some breakdown of that tomorrow. Uh, we have uh, Step and I are recording a Tep and Step podcast previewing the state tournament. Uh, we will have. Uh, 
wall-to-wall team coverage of the state uh, tournament here on TexasFootball.com, which is a good way to segue. Yeah, very nice. Well into done, right there. Letting you know that if you can't make it to College Station, don't you worry about it. We got you covered. That was crazy. I don't know what just happened, but I know we're going to see. That's right, the state seven-on-seven seven tournament. For the first time, going to be broadcast live on TexanLive.com, and you can watch it for free, free 99 at TexanLive.com, courtesy of our friends at the Texas Army National Guard who are sponsoring the broadcast. Uh, you can watch the state seven-on-seven seven tournament live from College Station on TexanLive.com this Thursday through Saturday. Get your fill of summertime football. Thanks to our friends at the Texas Army National Guard. Watch the state 7-on-7 tournament live, texanlive.com. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to texasfootball.com slash subscribe.